I'd like to share with you something very nice on this week's Parish of Aloyscha from the Rebbe's father, Rebbe Levi Yitzhak Zatzal. This week's Parish, we have the mitzvah, Baloyscha Sanedos. You should light up the lights of the Menoida. This mitzvah was given to Aaron Hakoyen. To light the menorah. Rabbi Levi Yitzchok explains an interesting zoyhar. The zoyhar in Chele Gimel, the Flamed Hay, says these words: "Beshaite the Kohano, the time of the Kohanim, Polach Pulchano, they do their service, va'akriv kabona, and they bring their the kabonos." The offerings, the and also they burn the incense. Then what happens through these three services? They bring down revelation of godliness to every single Jew in the world. So Rabbi Levi Yitzhak asks, they bring kabbonas. I know exactly what you're referring to, the kabbonas. Arctic toilers, they bring the incense. It was a mitzvah to bring every single day to the Koyanim in, in the in the inner Mizbeach. I know what it means. But what does Polach Pulchana? They do their service. Which service are you talking about? It doesn't say which one. And why doesn't it say specifically which one it's referring to? Explains Rabbi Levitzik something very nice. He says, Hashem was. As when he used to speak to Moshe Rabbeinu, so the voice would come out from the Kodesh Hakadoshim where the Oren was. So it's as if the Kruvim were, was facing Moshe Rabbeinu. That's as if Kavayochel. That's the face of Hashem talking to Moshe Rabbeinu. So if you picture the Beis Hamikdash, that Hashem is looking to Moshe Rabbeinu from the Kodesh Hakadoshim. When you come out of the Kodesh HaGadoshim from Hashem's perspective, it comes out that the Menoida was placed on the right side. On the left side, further, that's where they used to shech the Kabonis on the Tzofen side, the north. And then in the center was the Mizbeach of the Keteris. But which service was on the right side? was the Menoida. Now the Menoida has the lights, its oil shines, it brings light to the Jewish people. It explains the Hasidus that from all these services, the Menoida and also the Ketoides and the Kabonis, which is the main Avoida, and that's why the Zoya called it just in the general name of Avoida, Pulchona means the service. Which one is he referring to? Explain to Rebbe Levi Yitzhak, the Zoya means the lighting of the Menorah. Because from all three Avoidas, the real Avoida is the Avoida from Oir. Why? Because Akoyin and also Oir symbolizes the revelation of Chesed, of kindness, of Ahava. That was the avoider of the Koyhanim. Like uh, uh, we say in the in the Bracha, that the Koyan benches the Yidin Ba'ava with love. So for, there's all different types of services to Hashem. There's Yira, there's fear, there's other avoiders. But which avoider is the main avoider that a Jew should serve Hashem with? It says in Zoya, Les Pulchono Kipulchono de Rikhimusa. There's no avoider. As great as love. When Hashem wants a Yid to do a mitzvah, you shouldn't do it out of fear, people will get punished. Hashem says, I want you to do it out of love. You love the Eibishter. Abbas Hashem. That symbolizes the light of the Menorah, Chesed, kindness. And that's why it's on the right side. And that's why this is the most important avoider from all three. And that's why the, the Zoya does not say specifically lighting the Menorah. Then you think it's equal to the others of Bringing the Kabbonis and the Ketoides. The Zoya especially just says, to, to, to say this, the, the service that a Jew, that the Koyan does. He says, Stam, 
Why stop? Because that's the most important avoid. That's the Iker avoid. Because less pulchana kul pulchana dechimos. There's no greater service when a Jew spreads light. Oy, that's chesed, and that's why that symbolizes to Avram vayashkim Avram baboike. The morning when it gets light, it's a, it's a sign of kindness, Mashem. That's the avoid similar to Avram, which is chesed. So when you do the avoid from Ava. That is the most important avoid, and that's why it's always on the right side, and that's why it was also through the koyin. And koyin symbolizes just to conclude the interesting gematria. It says that the koyin is here to bring a lot of chesed into the world. Virav chesed adds up to two eighty, and if you take the Rosh Tevis of these three avoidus, how it symbolizes in, in the Zoya head, says Reb Levi Yitzchak, pulchona starts with a pay, korbona with a kof. Kitoides and another kuf. Together it's 280. That's the gematria of a Rav Chesed. The main thing of a coin is to bring kindness in the world. From these three avoiders, the main avoider is just Stampul Chona, which is the lighting of the Menorah. Have a good job.